ladies and gentlemen, I'm your host, Isa Bishop, here playing naval action once again. I wanted to see about from a year from now, well, actually a year up to this point, how much has changed. They now have these other mission modes of fleet combat orders, delivery orders, and war effort order, like, sorry, war effort supplies, and they seem to have new ships and stuff like that, but the one thing I don't like is that they reset Everything. They reset my rank, they reset my goal, they set everything up to where you have to rework for everything. But the difference is, is that they give you these four ships right here, right next to Cell, the Redeemables. I already redeemed them, and I have Forged Papers, which I will do a separate time for that, because I don't know what you need them for just yet. But I just kind of want to jump back in the game and see how much has changed. Uh, I only have pretty much the basic cutter you can go into the shop and buy it it's zero gold and it comes with cannons on it the ships you have don't have cannons i don't really know what they were thinking but basically that's what we got to do so we had the basic cutter selected we got combat orders times three it looks like they boosted the gold most likely but pretty sure the difficulty is not pretty high so we're going to hit sail and go to the open world okay for a second there i was like that is not the skipper. Okay, open world travel. That looks like the ship that I owned, which is what I should have. Okay, we're gonna aim, let's see, the winds to the right, to the left. Okay, from the right to the left. Okay, aim out to the open, so I'm going full spe uh, speed. This is not your actual boat speed, this is just open world travel speed. Your actual speed will be implemented whenever you start a mission. So we're going to open this, drag it up. We are in the northern part of Charleston. Looks like all the missions are on the right side, close to the cove, and a bit further out. So we're going to just try to get into a mission, and hopefully we can get a kill and make some money, because we desperately need it. And in order to start a mission, you got to click on the crossing swords and get close enough to where you click start, which is in the upper right-hand corner. This game is still very beautiful, though. Alright, here we are. We're going to set 1-1-2-1-3-1-4-1. One, 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 one. This will set the ball out of the uh, chain and grape. And then we'll also have everything enabled for now. And then full speed. He's got the coastline, we don't. He is facing us though. The wind is coming from the left to the right. We are in the beginner ship sco uh, skipper. And we cannot face the wind, right? So if you face the wind, we'll be stuck. Oh, I'm gonna go ahead and line this up. with the hundred that's just a warm-up round and then facing the wind keep re uh, rotating you stop you're gonna get stuck I'm going to rear towards him. Don't want to do that too often because my brother will get stuck. But I'm rotating immediately so I can do another volley at him. The water level is a little bit high. He's going to try to do a dime turn on me. to get on his rear now we're with the wind now he's, he has the advantage on us he's on a tier higher ship 
with many, many more sails, and my rudder is slightly damaged. But that's what we have the five button for, which is repair. But we want to save that for the bare minimal. He's about to shoot a volley at us. He's hurt more than we are. Which is good, that's how we want it. So far so good. Let me get a free shot of my rudder. So far we're doing pretty good, so far. Mm. Damn water, I raised my cannon as soon as I pulled the trigger. Or gave the order to, for them to fire. They make these beginner missions not easy at all. It was a lot easier back when I first played about a year ago. Oh, this is going to be a violent show, uh, shooting. He went into the wind. Taking more damage than we are, which is good, that's how we want it. Build the speed up to 
Okay, time to close that distance. Speed up. Maybe doing a repair here real soon. I want to save it as long as I can, though. the wind and we need to hold turning right. Good we didn't get caught in the wind. Should be sinking by now. It fired me at that time. I wonder why. We're done a 32 crew. He's done a 34. That's a lot less than what he had. He is so badly damaged. I'm only con I'm almost considering going to grape shot, try and take out his people. Maneuvering him now. Okay, going into the wind, keep turning right, don't get caught. Good. Doing good. Ow. He has like no armor left except for those smidges as you can see in the upper right hand corner. His nose with the two squares and his rear with a square, a half a square, and a quarter of a square. So we need to just hit that rear end of his. We got some more of his rear end armor. Keeping an eye on that wind. A little bit of a speed. Make sure I just stay behind him. I think he's sinking, guys. Ah, he's still firing. Not near as strong, though. Go ahead and use my repair. Ship repair. I think he's sinking, guys, because the water's going above. And it's getting in a ship. Yep, we won. He's sinking. Slow but surely, he's sinking. Who won this? Battle's over. Power report. Uh, 6,900 gold, 74 XP. 3,002 mark points. Hmm. Okay, now, damage report. We are greatly damaged. So we are going to head back to the bay. Uh, Charlton and we're gonna get repairs and we're gonna see what we can buy I'll see you there 
Alright, now we are back to Charleston. We got some ships that are leaving the harbor and we are coming back in. I just love how the map looks. It's so pretty close to how as close as you can get to this kind of stuff. You really don't have to slow down, but I always slow down at least a notch just in case the docking button into Charleston right at the upper middle of the screen doesn't show up. Now with that, repair for zero gold. Let's see if we can buy repair kits. Not just cannons. Cannons are whew, fairly expensive, but I got 9,000 gold out of a 3,000 gold mission, so not bad. Of course, the reason why I think I got more is because of the difficulty level. So to get 3,000 minimal, I took on a T2 ship. I think I took a pickle. Which is still in the same class as 7th rate. But it's still stronger than the basic cutter. Also, one thing you could do is that you can capture ships and you could break them up or sell them as is, which is a very highly recommended way that I suggest you guys get ships. Okay, the expand docks, add more docks for more ships. The outpost is where you uh, build uh, outposts at different towns. There you can put buildings and the perks. I don't know how those work yet. Lower deck, upper deck. See how it has all the slots for all the cannons? But we don't have any cannons. I wonder how this works. Or what kind of cannons I need. But uh, Yoast and all that helped me out greatly on knowing what I need to do. It wasn't the classic cannon that I was using wrong. Well, actually it was. I was using T5. And it's not a T5 ship. This is actually a 6 through 9 class cannon equipped ship. Not this one, but the other one I was looking at. So, basically, all the gold was for naught, and it went to waste. So they taught me about fishing, they told me about trade and sale, and I would have to do that some other time while I'm waiting for this to go away, so I can try to get in here and get some quick gold, hopefully. Battle. I want to help with slowing it down, because I have the agility, so... one, two, 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 three, two, four, two. You gotta do what I do, just run stuff over. Okay, switch into a grape. That'll be one, three, two, three, 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 four, three. Spin around while I wait. Don't get caught in the wind. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Hopefully I make some money out of this.
Nice to have a battle inside the harbor. That's pretty nice. So just open bodies of water like it used to be. I think he's trying to capture the ship. Yeah, I think he's trying to cap him. Got two of his guys. Send to 110. up now. If you're in the... Is that another ship here? Be another ship. I don't know if that's friend or foe. Just kind of sitting there. Americans, so I'm assuming it's friendly. To 107 now. When we get caught on the headline, win. He's trying to cap capture that ship. He needs to do more damage. I don't think this guy knows what he's doing. There's three ships here now. He's been boarded. That's a pretty awesome battle to see, though. If you don't get caught in the wind. Don't get caught in that wind. Okay, hey, good. Hey, stay like this. Oh, battle over. He capped it. I wonder if I can capture that ship. Make some quick money. Find out real quick, get it up right next to it. So 
I don't I don't think I made any money off of that. Of course I didn't exit out completely yet. Nope. I don't get to capture it. That's unfortunate. Three battle, yes. No rewards, so I'm not participating in those anymore. Okay, time to fish. Oh, I call it to needlefish when salt. So that's how it works. On the left hand side of the screen, you can't quite see it because of my webcam is kind of there. But it's right here, it just shows up that you're capturing things. So you just kind of sit here and wait. So, might as well have that turned on at all times. That's a good way to make some money. That's a really good way to make some money. Okay, after being away for about 10 minutes, we got two needlefish, which is worthless, two salt, which are only worth about gold, uh, one gold apiece, which is two, then we have a drum and a catfish, and they said a drum was a fish as well. Drum teeth are rounded, and they have powerful jaws, a little crushing which is another shellfish. They have the ability to produce cracking sound, which is, oh, croaking sounds, which is used by males as a mating call. And then we have catfish three and named and deprived. Uh, sorry, derived from the presence of a hard bony plate along the dorsal and fin. Hardened catfish are vigorous, uh, vigorous eaters. And we'll oh, we got more salt and more worthless needlefish. Natural bait, hardened catfish, are all known to steal bait. Hmm. I'll be uh, fishing here for about another 20 minutes, and then I'll be going. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, I'm going to turn this into a two-parter video where it's just one video, but I broke it up into two different days because a lot of that last episode, I did a lot of sitting around, asking a lot of questions, and a lot of it is unusable footage because it is boring on what I'm doing. One thing I'd like to talk to you guys about is one thing they taught me was classification the class is 8 to 10 level cannons and 8 to 8 of the what was it the one that attack the carronades okay the carronades they attack the actual pirates on the ship and destroy the actual people not the actual ship itself or the sails the uh, chain and balls are for the sails, the cans are for, obviously for the hull, the ship, with the damage of the armor to actually make it sink, or damage the sails together. Sometimes it takes out people, but not as often. Carinades are specified for that. There are the 1 through 10 classes, as you can see right there, and I could have 8 through 10 cannons. I guess 8, the lower number, the more effective the cannons are. Let's see. Yeah, way higher. 42 versus 4. So... I can get up to 8, then about 1,458 a piece for that, and then the carronades, I don't want to go buy the carronades yet because I need to know the level, which is 8. So I can get level 8 carronades. So I can get both of these, but I want to be careful on how I do this because um, I only have so much to work with. But this is this ship. I'm not going to do anything with a basic cutter. What I want to do is the uh, the class 5, which is the best ship I have, out of versus this and the other one. Because the hull is 1,700 versus hull of 2,835. And then the cannons per side is 19 versus 22. I wish I could actually drag it, but it's like right here where my mouse is. As you can see right there. Speed is not very good, but it's a much bigger, better ship. Uh, I'm just going to click it real quick and then go out to sail so I can just show you. Okay, that's just warning me about the stuff. Yes, I just want to leave the port. Don't have enough crew. Dang it. 
But anyway, I need to do more missions to get more crew members because I'm a midshipman, which midshipman is the lowest level. Next level, as you see, is lieutenant, which is 60 crew member, and I'm on my way out of 140 and 50. Um, I wonder if doing quick battles would help me level up. I'm not for sure. I don't remember how to do the uh, quick battles. But I need a lot more money to upgrade this ship because let's do this. Look at it real quick. The equipment. 26 cannons, 18 cannons, 2 and 2. Another thing they told me is that if I have too many cannons, they won't fall into place. I got to have 18 even. It's some kind of glitch they have right now. So I need to do like a right click. See right here. Right click. Uh, split. And then I can actually make a different stack of like 18 and then just drop 18 cannons in there. But I need to get 18 level 8 cannons to put in there and then the 26 and then everything else and then we'll have a lot of cannons so this will be bringing it back up to my better days of ships but for the most part we're just going to mess around for a little bit they also taught me fishing fishing has something to do with it when it comes to the shops uh resources food uh these are the things here there oh uh, which one is it Resources. I'm just going to do all. And then it was sharks that were worth a lot of money. Which is what I'm going to be after. So we're getting back in the basic cutter. The perks. We have... How many points do we have? I don't even know how many points we have. One free point. So, see, I want—I don't know if it just affects the basic cutter or affects all my ships. So I want to be careful. I want to do the Fisher, just in case it's universal. Oh, it's two. Dang, it's two points. Start with all guns loaded. That would be nice. That would be real nice. And if it's not uh, universal, I could pick it again or something else later. So, I wonder how I get more perks. I'm just going to hit that right now and then figure out how to get more perks to the next point. Okay, so every time I level up, I get more points. Okay. I'm going to click this. Okay, it's universal, so it's a good thing I picked that. And I can reset it and change it later if I want to. So that's good. That's very, very good. 991x iron ore per day. Storage size 2,972. So, okay, I need to start working the uh, actual buildings here as well. Stone mine 10,000. I'm pretty sure everyone has that. An outpost. I uh, have one in Charleston, is where you start out with your basic, uh, basic spawn. And then you could have another outpost somewhere else, somewhere nearby, something far away. But we just need to be careful. So, we're going to sail. Okay, now we're out of Charleston. That's a lot of freaking ports. Okay, we have two missions. We are barely even last one. Now the fish, uh, fishing icon is on. That is off. We are now fishing. You can travel and fish at the same time, which will go in our cargo hold right here. We already have 7.4 out of 150, which we can carry quite a bit. The prey works with... Um, PvP and say not really PvE increases your chances to actually escaping. I don't know how that works because this is not a PvP server. This is just PvE for I can get my grasp of the game. We're efficient, we're traveling, and then we are going to head south and probably hit to the coastline or one of these ships. At this point, it's like no one's really talking. 
Okay, gotta be prepared. Enter. Hey, super shallow water means he's behind me. Gotta get the first shot. That is a big ship. That's not fair. This is a much higher. This is not a big shipment level. Ready for contact. Ow. Ow. Mm, he hit my front right nose pretty hard. Bring him into the wind. To have the advantage here. Want to get that rudder. Shit, jeez. How's he doing? We got his rear end really hard. Good. That's how I want it. Looks like the sun's going down. We're gonna fight in the dark here really soon. Get his rudder, that's what I want. Yeah, we hit him pretty hard. So his rear is gone and his front left side's hitting pretty hard. Sales is 100%. It's cruising down to 46. He's almost down to our crew number, and that's a, like a next tier ship. Stay right on that rear end. You're doing all kinds of damage. We will sink this ship. We're not even going to dare try to take it from him. I'm getting the old style back from me on how good I used to be at this game. But I stopped playing it because, eh, it was not much to it about a year ago. Okay, max speed. He's going to make this easy for me. He's bringing the rear end to me. Just don't go into the wind. That rear end is hurting. Okay, speed up, speed up. Want to stay right on that rear end of his. I want that rudder. And the 37, he's down to our number of crew members.
Where's the ship at? There it is. The clouds are super realistic in this game. It actually has the actual density. Shot when the waves were a little high, but still I got them pretty good. Speed up, speed up, speed up, speed up. Getting right on a six. He's making this a little easy on me. Under 36 people, but I can't board him because this is not a boarding ship. Alright, he's trying to bring this into the wind. This is fun. I'm greatly enjoying this. Seems they fixed the AI quite a bit. Instead of being being pushovers, but still the mission's quite hard. I'm gonna ram that rear end of his. I think he's sinking. We've done a lot of damage to him. His sails are sort of damaged. Our sails are still 100%. So we performed it just right. Man, that rear end is just torn up. Oh. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Is he sinking? Can't tell from this distance yet. I just need to keep turning left so I don't get caught in the wind. Yep, he's sunk. I win. That was a good battle. Why am I on land? I'm just gonna ignore the fact that I was on land. What is this, Pirates of the Caribbean? That was super weird. Okay, full stop. How much money did I just make? Oops, that doesn't work. How much money did I just make? I think I have enough to go and buy the cannons I need now for that ship. So I'm going to start putting some stuff on it. See, make, make sure I'm doing what needs to be done correctly. But man, that's weird. I was in the land. I was not in the land when I got out, when I uh, signed up for that mission. Okay, we have, oh wow, we have a lot of money now, 9,309. So, equipment. Five to nine, it has, it can go up to level five weapons on the top deck. Cannons, five. A little pricey, but only a thousand, that's pretty nice. Pretty nice. Okay. I don't want the long cannons, even though they do the same damage. I just want to move up to annihilate people. So I want to buy, I'll buy nine of them. Confirm. Okay, ready? He's dead ahead of me. I'm gonna charge dead on. Looks like a second tier ship, which would be a tier seven or six. I can't remember what's the lowest tier. We are the lowest tier, but he's a tier above us. Looks like he's heading dead at us. Being prepared didn't help us in this round because he's going to be ready. And we're going with the wind. Sort of. A little bit on our left side. I'm going to face the wind a little bit because I'm going to cut as soon as I get the shot off. So the wind will help me get the other side prepared. Okay, he's good broadsiding. 
And I guarantee you he's re uh, loaded, ready to go. Boom. And now he's got to cut in. And we have the wind. And we have the wind. Got some hits on him. Still got a lot more crew than us. Made a dead stop. How was that? Getting dark. Okay, we have the wind. How is he doing that pivot turn like that? That's weird. Slowing down. I don't know what he's doing, he's just sitting there. Oh, he's probably caught in the wind. Perfect. Pick up a little bit of speed. No, don't go head on in the wind. What the heck? Okay. Full speed. Yep, full hard right. Full hard right. I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. I just don't want to get caught in the wind. Caught in the wind and a skipper is a death sentence. Quite literally, you can't do anything about it. And the AI knows it. His right side, mid right side is hurting pretty hard. Hmm. My front right side, close to the front, not the nose, pretty closest kind of hurting. And the reason why I keep calling that out, information out for you guys, is because obviously my webcam is in the way. One day whenever I get the computer to independently record them, I would do that, but right now I just do not have the technology or the financial resources. I am already saving up for a new computer though, but it's still gonna be a while. Okay, he's about to face the wind again. Right there. Okay, he's already trying to turn. Full speed, full speed, full speed. Not quite facing the wind yet. And full commit turn, full commit turn, full commit turn. Okay, we made it past the nose of the wind. Trying to race around him again. He's going to get a shot off, but at least we're getting off at least three to four volleys that I'm hitting us. Which is how you want to play it. I need to switch this from borderless window mode to this mode. Okay, sorry I had to spin like that, guys, because my mouse keeps going off screen, which is my fault. Man, we got some of his internals. That's gonna hurt. And this is how we do it. Rinse and repeat. This is part of the grinding phase until you get better ships. Okay, start slowing down, start slowing down, start slowing down. Make him bleed. Okay, battle speed. I love these new graphics I'm playing with now in comparison to where I used to be. Okay, his internals are completely shy. He should be taking water now. Should be taking water. And his rudder should be shot, but it's not. 
I don't know why. Full speed. Cut in as soon as you can. There you go. He's about to get right up on us. We're probably just right out of this range of fire. Yeah, we avoided a turn. Gotta full on wind this up again. Sorry guys. I'll get that fixed soon by next episode. He has to be sinking by now. Yeah, he's getting real low in that water. I'm going to fully commit and bring it left side. I'm pretty sure he's taking water. Yeah, he's taking water. We just won. Ah, smell of victory. And gunpowder. Oh no, we're about to run to a ship. And, yep. <laughs> it wouldn't really happen. It would just kind of just roll over and sink. And I would actually force it into the water. Send him to Davy Jones's locker. Okay, we just got 3,000 gold and more XP. I don't remember how much XP I needed to actually um, achieve next level. We should be getting close. Okay, we're heading back to the harbor because we should have enough for the cannons. And that should be enough. Okay, repair for zero gold. Shop. Cannons. Tier 5 class. What was it? Okay, that, tier 5, shop, cannons, tier 5. Right, I just wanted to buy a few more. 10,000 gold, yes. Okay, home. Equipment of 18 medium cannons. And it stayed. Woo, we got our top deck of cannons. I wish we could man it though. Cruise 40, minimal is 245. It's gonna be a while before we can get the ship, but I want this ship ready to go by the time we get to it. Alright, looks like the storm outside in real life is getting fairly intense. So I'm going to end on today's episode. Thank you for watching. I'm your host, Isabu Shep, and I will see you.